What up guys, welcome back. We are on our way to Rustic Ops Shop. <laughs> Rustic Ops Shop. And, and uh, bars. And uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Ryan, you guys just saw the video of us uh, fishing the Delta. I know it wasn't the best video, but um, I appreciate you guys watching if you made it through that uh, horrendous video of, <laughs> of fishing. Uh, but we'll be back out there. Yeah, but we're gonna just gonna go over here to the shop real quick. This is gonna be uh, shouldn't be a long video of uh, seeing how the desk is coming along. Um, I was gonna have my daughter with me, but um, the smokes picked back up out here in Northern California. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, been crazy fires out here. But we're maintaining. My buddy's house got burned down. Sucks. Um, but uh, yeah, until then, uh, we'll, I'll be back. I mean, we're gonna go to the shop. I really don't know. I have nothing else to say. You got anything you want to say? <laughs> but we're gonna go to the shop and uh, check it out, see how the desk is coming along. So meet us at the shop. So I like this. Yeah, yeah, no, I like, um, I like all that stuff. That's it's just all like this is just yeah, you know. But then there's also this. Oh, that's nice too. That's the problem. <laughs> so this is gonna well, be the desk, people. You're still wanting that other piece. This side or this side? Huh? You're still wanting that other piece. It's very easy to add it. I mean, what other piece? Like, oh, the other piece that you yeah. show? Because you're going to be out to here. So let me know, guys, uh, how you guys like this uh, lens. It's a Sigma 16 millimeter. I probably won't be using it for vlogging, but films like this probably be using it a lot more because of low light. This is, hey, what's your name, man? David. David. David works over here at Rustic that's Ops. A, that's a slab of walkie. That's a slab of walkie. So this is what I would add. I would cut off like, probably. Yeah. Oh, I kind of like that, man. I would cut it in a lot. I see a coach right here, you know, and then you can do like uh, her frog here, his frog here, throw like a worm or two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I kind of, I kind of like I this. I feel like you end up with more dead space if you do the other one. Yeah, because I'm really liking this just because of the fact. Also, this looks like a river. Right, and that's why I was saying earlier. You, you know were, what I'm saying? You were kind of like, hey, I really want, you know, because your laptop's going to be on, you know, coach, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I, we put the frogs out here, then, you know, you'll still be able to see the important stuff. Yeah. But I'm going to refinish it. But this little design, yeah. I'm going to do that in the maroon. So it'll have character. It's not going to be just flat. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, no, that looks cool. Yeah. So you'll have, uh, you know, the little swirl patterns in there. You'll have your name, you know, in a coach right here. Um, and I was thinking, you know, throw like a worm in here, maybe one like in here. The like people, like, they wonder why I say six to eight weeks. Yeah. And this is why, right? We start working with one plant, I get this piece ready. We talk, I get to feel how you want your piece to look. Yeah, and yeah. You get to see, and now we're like, okay, so now we're gonna go add another piece of wood, right? Yeah. So it's trial and error. Like better. Apologize for the train, stupid train. Yeah, I don't like this train. The other train's got people on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is not, when you guys come later on, it's not going to be his work area. No. Okay. <laughs> It'll be back in there. You can have all this fixed up, you know. You know, uh, give a shout out. Um, Rick, Delta X, dude. Uh -huh. He gave me a good idea. I was going to be putting, you know, stuff finished out on the floor. Yeah. And he's like, well, why don't you do it like an art piece? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, put it up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I can save walking space. I can build whatever number of tables I want and put them up on the wall. And we already do threaded inserts in the oh, bottom gotcha, anyway. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, All I got to yeah. do is two screws and some wire, and it'll hook on the wall. Oh, hey. It'll be more nice. classy, you know? So yeah, heck yeah. He had a good idea when he came with this. So. Heck yeah. So you'll see people, I'm sure they'll tell me I'm not doing this right, I'm not doing it that way, I don't know. But we both get to the same result, it looks like a sick table. Yeah. This is the way I like doing it because I can work it in. So what do other people do, like spray it or something? Some people will use a trough, oh. um, some people use a gloved hand. 
Um, it, it's honestly, people do a lot of different stuff. Some people might just do a flood coat right away. Yeah. Um, but this, I know it's not 100% clean in here where I like it to be, so I'm not gonna use a trough. Um, I know it's extremely hot, so that means this epoxy is a lot more liquefied, if you will. Um, and then I just like brushing it on, because then if I find spots the epoxy's not getting into, you know, I can push it down in there like that. But, um, yeah, so again, I'm brushing it on here because again, I know there's dirt on here. This is only to soak into the wood, um, start creating that that seal, I like that color. seal coat, and then it uh, I'll sand it off, and you only really see this coat of it. It because oh. it's a, this so this so you'll still so you'll still sand this after this. Oh, yeah, this is so this is one of probably. It depends on how the wood takes, but I can guess maybe three, four coats of epoxy. Oh, well. Yeah. You know, I, obviously I'm, I'm running a business, I have to make money. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have to charge so much that people can't get into their homes. There's no reason this should be like, you gotta be filthy rich to get this into your house. Some of that's bubbles, some of that's dirt. But again, it will all be sanded off, so it really doesn't matter. Um, you know what? I don't even think. How long have you had the whole this whole business? Um, I started in 2016. Oh, okay, yeah. Because on the last video, we can touch on that. On that, you know, you've had it going since then. Yeah, yeah. I've had it a while. I started in my the patio of my apartment. Hey, a lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of people started out to just a big, you know, gravel lot yeah. uh, on the farm. Okay. The goal is. So this will have a layer on it. So it almost looks dry, and that's because it basically soaked in it already. Yep, it soaked it all in already. Gotcha. So my goal is to get it to where it's all glossy. A long time, dude. Um, and, you know, just keep coming back, checking for the bubbles that are in there. Because right now, I don't care too much because, again, I'm not in the clean space where I'm yeah, going to do yeah. the final product. But two, and that's, bro, like I said, I'm so hyped up about this right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I've never had nothing like this and never even thought about having something like this, you know? So it was like, when, when, when you was telling me, I was just like, hey, that's gonna be awesome. Well guys, I told you guys it's gonna be a short video, not too long, I mean, it wasn't too long, just coming in, checking on uh, Ryan, see how he's doing on his desk, on the desk that uh, he's making for me, making sure he's not slacking off, you know? You gotta be on top of one. <laughs> hot. Leaving it here, you know, curing a little bit, I guess. Sounds like a, oh, so yeah, so it is drying up again, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there you go, guys, just a quick video. This is gonna be episode two. As you've seen in the beginning, popped up episode two. I'm gonna be doing more of these and showing you guys how his uh, shop is coming along. Hopefully you guys come in and order you guys something custom. Um, you guys will definitely see the whole process um, as much as I can get out here and do uh, videos so you can see how it's coming along and everything like that. Get with Ryan, man, and uh, get you a desk, see how it goes. And shoot, anything else you want to say, man, to the guys, people? No, you know, I know it's crazy times. A lot of people stay safe. We're here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all day. Every other Thursday and the rest of the time we're building or trying to work on the store. So uh, stay safe. Oh, so you're doing what? Every other Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Because, oh, okay. I mean, the way it goes, it's, you know, customers come and come in, it's not too much I can do on the store. So we just try to build as much as we can. And then most of the time it goes to the customers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't, I was probably no B-roll on this one, but I just told my son, just record, you know, random stuff. We're going to be just talking about what we're going to be, what he's building for me and everything like that. I want to keep it as organic as I can. I don't like to script stuff out as much. Um, if I have to, I will, but that's why you'll probably hear a lot of us sounding like we don't know what we're about to say because we don't pre-plan this. Keeps it organic, and that's the way I like it. Other than that, guys, we'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys, like I said in the beginning of this video, enjoyed the last video. Um, we're already talking. We're going to try to get back out on the Delta or Berryessa. I'm going to try to convince some Berryessa. 
I know he wants to fish the Delta. <laughs> but I'm going to try to convince him to go to Berryessa. Um, because we haven't went to the Berryessa in, in a while. But right now, obviously, we can't go because the roads are closed. And I don't know what kind of access there is. Capel Cove got burned down. Um, other than that, I don't know. Markley Cove, unfortunately, got burned down. But, you know, hey, we'll rebuild and uh, get back at it. Other than that, till then, guys, we'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, see you guys later. Peace out.